because I remember you telling me this story. Just keep it rolling, Daddy. Mommy, what you going to tell a story about? I'm going to tell a story about almost killing myself at the age of six. All my siblings okay. had gone out and left me, the youngest, in the house alone. My older sister came home with her boyfriend, and she sent me upstairs to get out the way. So I figured I'd climb out the second floor window and go play. Didn't work out like that. All I remember is Miss Hattie screaming, Earl, Earl, she gonna kill herself. And here come my brother running around the corner, catches me just in time to save my life. I bring up that story to bring up Miss Hattie. Who was Miss Hattie, Mommy? Miss Hattie was a neighbor who watched over us and fed us when my mother and my grandmother had gone to work. She was a very loving person. She made the best powdered eggs in the world. But then came the time, approximately three years later, we had moved out of Cherry Hill. My mother moved us to a predominant white neighborhood. She comes home one day and tells us that Miss Hattie had been killed by a white man that he had beat her to death with a cane. So later on, with the advent of internet, Google and all that, I decided to look her up. She had been working at the Belvedere Hotel, one of the big hotels here in Baltimore. And she, this gentleman decided that she hadn't served his drink in a timely fashion. So he caned her to death. This man got six months for Miss Hattie's life. He got six months. She got death. Bob Dylan wrote a song about her called The Lonesome Death of Hattie Carroll. Start back over for Daddy, that would be the direction. A whole Go ahead, story my. of what happened to her and how rich he was in the farmland that they owned here in Maryland. It tells the whole story about him. Oh, well, that's about it. There's other things Thank that happened in that all-white neighborhood, but that just goes to show you what happened to black people that don't happen to white. That's justice in America for the average black person. Whether you're six years old or 106.